in this video i would like to show you one of the ways you can split your emacs configuration into multiple files so the way i have done this is i have divided my configuration into multiple components like uh, for user interface i have specified a specific file for uh, mode line one specific file for org stuff one specific file for uh, completion framework another file stuff like that so currently you can see i'm having this uh, doom mode line and if i open up my file browser control x control f you can see i'm using helm i'm using this way of uh, configuration right now because my configuration is a bit of mess so sometimes it's so hard for me to go through my configuration file to modify something so i have split my configuration in so my configuration is split into basically i have the default in it.el then i have this general.el org.el mode line.el packages.el and uh, completions.el yeah here so i have split this into multiple parts because uh, it's easier for me to modify something or uh, make changes so if i want to switch from helm to swiper i already have the configuration inside the file but it's commented out so it's easier for me so if you want you can use this so i'm using straight.el as my package management setup so this is for the straight.el so i use straight.el because sometimes if i need to install some package that is not available in melpa or other repositories currently i have to install it with git directly to my .emaxd directory so i install straight because straight will do that for me i don't have to go the like go to the github repository manually clone and do stuff like that then i have specified straight to use package so i can install the packages like easily or conveniently this is garbage collection stuff for making my mac startup faster so the way i've split is by using this load parameter so i'm using this load and i'm specifying the path to the file so in my case this general.el consists of uh, some elements like uh, disabling the menu bar uh, removing the time and uh, cpu configuration from the mode line stuff like that then i have this uh, ui.el for uh, user interface stuff like themes and icons then i have my packages.el for my stuff like projectile tree max and all the other stuff i have my org.el for my org stuff org room org superstar all these stuff are uh, inside this directory like inside this file then i have my mode line setup so i have specified different files for uh, mode line and completions is uh, i'll show you in a moment control x control f i'm already inside dot emaxd so if i navigate to my mode line dot el i already have some configuration so you can see how this commented out section for telephone line so sometimes i like to switch between my mode lines and it's like i do like to play around with my emacs a lot so if i don't want to use doom mode line if i select that and if i hit alt semicolon it's going to comment the entire statement so after that i've already enabled telephone line so if i need to remove something from the commented out section i can select that and i hit alt semicolon it's going to remove that so that's my way of doing this and I have another mode line defined opticons and i have this do mode line so it's a bit of a mess you can see it over here so if i add this to my main configuration or just my init.el you can imagine how long my configuration will go so i'll split this into multiple parts so control x control s to save the file now if i go to my completions.el you can see i have uh, 
set up for my sniper IV stuff over here but currently I'm using helm so this is helm I like to use helm because it's a bit convenient for me to use and sometimes I like to switch to vertical or sometimes I like to switch to IV stuff sometimes I use the default package which is uh, I do mode you can see I have this configuration for I do and all the other stuff so this is my present configuration for helm so if i need to replace helm with the uh, iv stuff all i need to do is i have to go here select alt semicolon so it's removed now if i hit page up i can go to the top here i have my configuration for uh, my swiper iv council stuff alt semicolon to remove that control x control s similarly i have uh, different configurations for my general setup and my packages like this so when you're using straight.el uh, you don't use enter t instead you use straight t and straight have like uh, inside straight you can specify which repository you want to use like uh, you can use git you can use uh, melpa elpa and any other repositories so if you want you can specify that but uh, i just leave it to the default so i use straight t that's pretty much how you split your configuration files into multiple files so if i hit ctrl x ctrl c to close out of my emacs and i open up my emacs again and if i hit f11 you can see currently i'm in full screen i do have this different mode line which is called uh, telephone line if i hit uh, alt x you can see i have this uh, i go to my completions inside my dot emacs d and completions dot i have this iv post frame so if i uncomment that i'm sorry i accidentally closed my max so if i open up my file browser you can see it's uh, currently present in the middle thanks to iv post frame ctrl c and t for transparency stuff like that so that's how you can configure your emacs into multiple files emacs configuration into multiple files all you have to do is so all you have to do is after your package management setup you can use like this with uh, straight.el or package.el it works either way all you have to do is you have to specify your path to your configuration file so for me for my case they are inside .emacst and i have specified different names for the files so that i can easily identify them so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day